Hello, my name is Ho Yoon Kwok. We will present our presentation from now on. Let me introduce my team. Our team is consists of two members, me and Jin So Lee. We are from South Korea. Jin So Lee participated in Korea RoboCup Junior competition in 2080. As for the event, the Coast Base Rescue Primary was played. This time, I will give a summary of a last primary match. We tried to create a program in which robot move on set route. We used state manager and compass to make a program. But our program didn't work. We tried to fix a program, but we could not find what is a problem. Our program didn't work well, so I fixed it. The root, but it didn't work. I give up. That pro give up that program and made a new program, which the robot move randomly. Next, I will explain the algorithm. <clears throat> we made 90 com eight, 19 comments. They are numbered on the left side, side of the comments for easy viewing. Comment one part, when two color sensors detect the deposit area, the robot takes the deposit action. Two and three part, if one color sensor detects the deposit area, the robot turns until the other color sensor sees the deposit. The four, five, and six comment part when the front or left or right ultrasonic sensor detects an obstacle, the robot rotates. And the step seven, when the color sensor detects the swamp, the motor speed changes to a higher speed. Uh, I will move on to the next slide and proceed with the explanation. The nine, eight, nine, ten comment part is when the robot sensor is detected in the warning zone of the trap, the motor ro rotates at a spe specific angle. In the comment function parts 11 to 16, when the color sensor detects an object, the robot collects the object. The name of the comment function in 17 is zero, 0. This means that the special area on the map is the area where the coordinate values accepted by the robot are interlaced. And when it comes to this area, the robot moves forward forcibly and leaves the area. In no 18, since there is no war in the map, the coordinates of the map are put in the advanced condition and when the robot is located in the area, it is forcibly turned to prevent the robot from leaving. The last 19 is located at the bottom and performs always for driving. We planned to create a program in which robot move on set route, but it didn't work. We couldn't find the possible cause, so we deleted that part. 
In conclusion, I'm not satisfied with my result because I failed my first and second plan. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, I would improve my strategy by communicating more with my team and practice harder. Throughout this competition, I have learned about how to use state manager and advanced condition. I have gained the ability to make program faster, and we are disappointed that we were not able to practice the contest in person because of COVID-19. But I think this will be a good experience for us. Thanks for watching our presentation so far.